New at six, local nonprofits are coming together in the wake of the devastating flooding for Hurricane Helene. Today, several organizations gather to learn more about being prepared and providing for those in need. Six on your sides, Don, St Don Hudson has a story. It's just the greatest thing in the world. Representatives from various nonprofits are learning about the Bishop's Storehouse in Knoxville. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has operated the storehouse since 1984. It gathers food that in many cases is grown and canned on church farms and prepares to share it with those in need. I'm surprised to see the big things that they do, how prepared they are and how much they are helping the community. Claudia Mata with Centro Hispano says she's impressed with the physical setup and with the storehouse's approach of providing food while also helping those in need get back on their feet. I love the, that is a program that helps like self-sufficiency and not focus on making people depending on their services. is more like uh, empowering them. The storehouse provides food to members of the church and non-members in need after they first meet with local bishops to make a plan to help them and to become self-sufficient. The Bishop's Storehouse also provides food to East Tennessee nonprofits. Marty Riggins and Chef Faith Klein from the Love Kitchen in Knoxville have benefited from that generosity. Those with a storehouse also anticipate when more food may be needed. In fact, it moved tons of food into place before Hurricane Helene roared through East Tennessee, something Reagan says a lot of local charities could learn from. Knowing that they planned ahead five months ahead for the hurricanes is, because they happen every year and it makes all the sense in the world, but I didn't know they did that. And, and you would think, a lot of organizations really ought to look ahead and think, you know, we're going to be looking at this. You stage this stuff in areas where it won't be impacted, but it's close enough that you can get it there. That, that makes all the sense in the world. And Those in attendance say they'll be taking what they learned from this tour of the storehouse back to their organizations to be a reference as they continue to help provide for people in our community. Don Hudson, 6 News. Don, thank you. Great work there. The Church of Jesus Christ provides more than a billion dollars in humanitarian aid for members of and worldwide relief efforts.